Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today a phone call from Kuwait's Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. Congratulations marked the advent of the holy month of Ramadan were exchanged between His Majesty the King and Kuwait's Crown Prince. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday at Sakhir Palace senior royal family members and officials in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The guests congratulated His Majesty the King on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing His Majesty abundant health and happiness and the kingdom further progress and prosperity. His Majesty welcomed the guests, congratulating them on the holy occasion and expressing thanks for the noble sentiments and wishes. He also expressed appreciation and pride in the efforts and contributions of the people of Bahrain which have consolidated the kingdom's status. His Majesty wished the people of Bahrain and Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. He affirmed that the Holy Month is a time in which the noble values of social cohesion are revived. He also confirmed that the people of Bahrain will remain a model of unity and cohesion and that the kingdom will remain a land of security, stability, tolerance and cohesion.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday at Sakhir Palace the UAE Ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, who conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of and wishes of abundant health and happiness of the UAE President, Sheikh, Khali Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The Ambassador congratulated His Majesty the King on the advent of the holy month, wishing him many happy returns. His Majesty the King exchanged congratulations with the ambassador, hailing the historic relations between the two countries and the developments they witness in all fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday the heads of the diplomatic corps accredited to Bahrain, who congratulated His Majesty on the advent of the holy month, wishing him many happy returns. They also expressed gratitude and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his efforts and role in solidifying Bahrain's relations with their countries. His Majesty the King welcomed the ambassadors, hailing the relations between Bahrain and their countries. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the ambassadors' efforts to enhance cooperation fields in light of the mutual keenness on achieving joint goals and aspiration.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited today the Majlis of the Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted the role played by the Majlises in promoting the national and Islamic values that underpin the Kingdom's national identity and the strong bonds between the citizens. He added that these values continue to underpin the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and are at the heart of the Kingdom's long-term prosperity. His Royal Highness emphasized the integral role that the Ministry of Interior plays as well as its security personnel in maintaining the safety and security of the Kingdom. He extended his best wishes to the Minister of Interior and the Majlis guests on the holy month of Ramadan. The Minister of Interior and the guests expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness's visit. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Leader of the Royal Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the great performance presented by the team's riders who achieved the second, third, fourth and fifth place in the 160 kilometer Castle Sagrat in France. His Highness was keen to communicate with the technical and administrative staff of the team throughout the race. He held the achievement of the royal team, stressing the strength of the team and the high experience of the riders in dealing with various conditions and the hope of reaching the goals set by the team. His Highness pointed out that the positive results of the team confirms that the riders are fully prepared to qualify for the World Endurance Championship after rider Ra'ad Mahmoud secured the qualification that the rest of the riders require to qualify in the next races. He underlined the importance of the achievements, stressing that the royal team has introduced the young riders to participate in this race to qualify them for the World Endurance Championship. His Highness stressed that the result came according to the technical plan set by the team before the start of the race, which was based on the participation of young riders in such strong races.